Hey everyone, Steve here from the Phonograph Stop. Well, this video I'm going to talk about the uh, 1930s Nifty Neurona phonograph. And uh, these were made in Germany between the 1920s and 1930s. Had a couple different shapes uh, to them. I've seen a couple square ones from the 20s and different types of silhouettes. Well, if you follow my channel, you'll see quite a few videos uh, featuring this phonograph. Uh, Let's just say it's a lot of fun to own one of these. If you see one out there, I would definitely recommend adding one to your collection. The only downfall is finding parts for this phonograph was extremely difficult. Um, I had some friends, luckily, who are also uh, phonograph collectors. And um, I had a friend in Australia who made this knurled screw speed knob for me. Also made the governor shaft for me. And, uh, spin that around so you guys can see. Very unique phonograph. Now, I did uh, do some restorations myself. Um, I did, uh, paint, uh, paint this top here. Paint the, repainted the base, um, touched up a little bit of this um, facing here, but I left most of it original because it's really hard to match any kind of paint on here. So unless you're an airbrush artist, which I didn't want to go that far with this. I wanted to leave a lot of it original. I rebuilt the Nifty Neuron sound box here, uh, put new gaskets on here. Um, now the diaphragm gaskets i used the exhibition gaskets the white ones and um it fit a little snug but um worked out really well and uh this needle bar also needed to be adjusted now this is horn is a unique design you can see the tone arm goes into the horn and on the back of the horn gets um secured with uh one single screw and there's an opening on the end of this tone arm where the sound goes through and elegantly comes out of this uniquely designed horn. And it sounds really good for its size and for being a toy phonograph. And I imagine uh, a lot of adults actually bought this phonograph back in the, tw back in the 30s as well. Now this here is the speed knob here. And this turns on and off the turntable it actually acts as a brake and i'm going to talk about this 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 is the only flaw i think in this phonograph where when you turn this on it has this arm inside with one square piece of thin square piece of metal and on the governor disc has a little round wire on the outside of it where it has like this little U-shape sticking out and it hits this piece of metal when you shut it off. Now the problem with this is if you're running this at 78, 80 RPMs, whatever you, whatever record you're playing, it's going pretty quickly. So when you shut this off abruptly, what can happen is the springs that are attached to that disc can shift and bend sideways a little bit. And that causes speed problems. I found this out the hard way. I, when I was examining my governor, I'm like, why are these springs turning to the side? I couldn't figure it out. I, I must have took that governor apart at least 10 times and just to try to figure out what was going on. Maybe some of the screws were loose. I really went through hell finding out that that was the problem. So what I do now is when the record's done, I just stop the turntable manually and just shut the switch off. Here's your crank. I touched up this crank handle with a little bit, a uh, little bit of stain because it was, uh, it was all white and looked nasty when I first got it. So. Well, that's about it with the Nifty Neurona in a nutshell. And 
Let me play a little bit for you. See how I stopped it? Then I just turned it off and let it stop itself. All right, guys. Well, that's about it. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you learned a little bit about this nifty Nerona, which I went through hell getting this thing working properly. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next spin.